my name is Bright Omokaro, <laughs> as you people had always called me, Mr. Tenten. <laughs> my father's name is Omokaro, smart. My mother is Victoria Omokaro. Uh, at my tender age, I just had that passion for football. But in our days, our fathers doesn't want to see you play football. You know, I just have that instinct in me, I want to play, I want to play. At the time, you know, if, <laughs> if your father deal with you at that time, you, when you show football, you will run away. But that passion was just in me. I had to run away from my uh, father, my family house, to my grandmother's place. You know, grandmothers, they pamper uh, kids. And that was where I was able to really put out uh, football as uh, a career. Even at my tender age, I had a football club called One by One. Then, but before I got into that, I was so much in football that, you know, the, the, what we played then was called felele, this rubber ball. And when it gets broken, I can't really work on it because I bring it back to life. So people pay me for this. And with that, that was how I was able to generate money to, 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 to open my football <laughs> team that was one, uh, one by one. I buy JC for them and all that. You know, I attended uh, Salvation Miami Primary School. We have likes of Unyim Okungbowa, who cared for us in the first ever, ever junior national team. Even Mike Odu, the late Mike Odu and all that. We attended the same primary uh, school. And uh, after which, uh, 73, we went to the National Sports uh, Festival. And we got gold there. We did well. And it was uh, Samuel Osagbobo Obamudia was the governor then. So when we came back, you know, then I still have problems with my father. I was in from two in Egosa Grammar School. But after the festival, when we came back, the governor opened a school they called New Era College, you know, around Upper Mission. So when my father now saw that it was a scholarship and he's not uh, paying anymore, so he started encouraging me. So, so that is how I, I started, you know, at the tender age. Uh, actually, you know, then when we were playing, uh, we really want to win, no matter what happens. And uh, I felt for doing a thing like that, it would give us a kind of an instinct to elude them because we were a goal down, you know, we are ahead. And at the time when Ademol Additional was given a red card, we were playing 10 against 11, and they were dealing with us at the midfield. And I felt I could do something that will create something that will make us, you know, win that match. I, yes, on my own, I wanted to do it so that uh, we'll be able to win. Uh, I have never had that in mind because uh, I am a Nigerian. And basically what happens in life, everybody takes it the way it comes. Uh, I cannot change my identity today. I'm a Nigeria. Uh, I'm always happy even being here. Uh, actually, that question you have just asked is, is a general thing. Uh, Nigeria applaud you when you are playing. And uh, when you are not active again, they don't want to do anything for you. But I am not bothered with things like that. Uh, well, uh, if we go back to the days we were actually playing, you find out that we have a lot of footballers who have passion. And then when you are called to the national team, you find out in your position you could have close to almost 80 players. And when you go back home, you think, out of these 80 players, how am I going to manipulate my way to be the best? You know, and that was the reason why, you know, I started as a, a, a striker, came back to the midfield, and it was even my friend Honor who, who said, you know, because my tacklings were hard then and all that, so that converted me. So I can play in any of the wings in the defense. Even when Fluminez came to Nigeria to play uh, Bendel Insurance, at that time I played at the middle. And at the only goal was even scored by me, a free kick with Fluminez of uh, Brazil. So it has been a wonderful uh, moment. And I give glory to God for, you know, dangling into football. Uh, actually, it was uh, Coach Broderick's. You know, he was playing, uh, two were playing. 
you know, he told me my name has been penciled for the national team I serve. Unyima Okungboa, the goalkeeper I told you, uh, Michael Du, and the rest of all. So we went to, to Lagos, National Institute of Sports in uh, Lagos. So that is how it started. That was 77, 78. Between seven, that was the first ever junior national team. When we got there, we met people like Henry Owusu, Sivano Sokpala, and all the rest of them. And at the end, we were the three players, myself, uh, Sivano Sokpala, Henry Owusu, that were picked from the junior national team to the uh, first national team, 1980. So that was how uh, it started. And from there, I've been a regular player <laughs> in the senior national team. Uh, then we were just like one family. And then you applaud respect to those respect at the, like Christian Chuku, Ima Okala, the Bald Buster, and all the rest of them. They were our elder players. And they crack jokes a lot. They can say, You must wash my boot this morning. You know, we, you will even be happy as a younger player coming in to go and do things like that. And as you do it, you know, he brings you very closer. And there are things you do, maybe you are not doing it well. He corrects you. You know, the younger ones were really, you know, having the senior one as a role model. Because if you have that instinct in mind, you will grow in whatever you are doing. So that was what gave us that, uh, uh, will I say, what pivot uh, us to that uh, glamour. Uh, mm -hmm. I would say is luck. Because we have all what it takes at that time to be we just on a high peak. But the luck wasn't uh, there compared to what we have uh, today. People were more serious. We have a, we have a lot of players. You, you feel, if you drop your shirt, if you have an injury then, you will tie it. You wouldn't let the coach know. Because we have a lot of competitors, you know, people that are you know, waiting to pick the dress at that time. So you don't give those chance. So it's just luck. Uh, well, first I will give uh, kudos to Alabi Essien. He, he is a father. He was one of those who detected me while I was still in the school, Oba Hawaii Grammar School. Uh, that was why he got me. And he said uh, I should come in. I was happy then because Bende Insurance was on the high peak. I want to be part of the team. And he gave me a lot of encouragement. Even sometime when we are seated, Lotus Barton could be sitting, Kadiri Kana and Adele. He would just be sitting and when he see me pass, we say, Bright. I say, well done, sir. He said, do you know you are supposed to play this match you are playing? I said, well, yes, sir. He said, you are playing from the left full back. And Kadiri would be seated there. I would just laugh, say, which kind of, I said, this is going to be terrible. And as God will have it, when the match comes, he placed me on that match. I will do well. You know, he was just, I don't know, he has that spirit in him. He knows how to ginger players up. And as Kadiri Ikana has seen me play at the number three uh, position, doing even better than him, he will go back to to go train. So there is that competition in that team at that time. And that is why you see anybody that is giving a shade would prove uh, his word. He's a kind of a technical uh, instance in parts into us. Uh, if I start from the right flank, we had the ideally, ideally place. You know, he was the captain at the time. You know, he's a great player, good motivator. And you see, we're all growing, you know, and whatever they tell us while we're playing, that's what we do. You know, he's, he's a nice person. Kadiri Kana too from the left, He's a great player. He played for the national team uh, too. We have the late uh, Agboni Fotu who was playing from the from the midfield. You know he was doing uh, perfectly well. Oko Otoedo too is late. These are people who we were looking up to, and that was what gave us that uh, perverting strength to get to where we are we are today we have a goal on too. that is another guy 
who, <laughs> who is very jovial. He cracks jokes uh, and all the rest of them. Sometimes, you know, he will say uh, the, the one during football the game match is going on. They say, he keep telling the opposite team, if you don't put your crash helmet, don't come into this 18. And what he says that, we know what he means. So when he's going for an area ball, we have to leave so that he can and host of others. Uh, first, I have, to, I have to thank the governor of the state, and most especially the deputy governor, the PS, Sabina, and uh, I don't know, Yusuf Ali, the sports commission chairman. In short, uh, they have been wonderful people since they came in, because you can find out at the time they came in, this is where we are hearing Bendel Insurance that have been, you know, down for a long time, the team is picking up. Like you said, when we're coming in, this is one of the best Sadia in town. These are all their good work. And uh, presently, I'm a scout with the team too. Uh, we're all seeing how we can revive football in Nigeria, most especially in Edo State. And Edo has always been up there when we talk about sports. And these are all what these people are doing. And I think uh, we have just started. The best has not been, been, been seen. We are going to do uh, more to sustain because it's always uh, easy to be on top, you know, and that is what we are going to build on. Because as you're on top there, a lot of people are just trying to see how you can uh, get down. I think kudos to them. Ah, yes. Uh, Modi Odige is a very good coach, technically and otherwise. Uh, like you have rightly said, you know, every coach, no matter what result you, you get in a match, you know, you have a match plan. And sometimes, if your match plan did not work the way you want, you, you will not be happy. But sometimes you see coaches will tell you, play badly and win. We have coaches like that. But Odige is a coach. He wants you to do everything technically the way he has asked you to do. Yes, inside him is happy because uh, happiness is glory. So, but he still wants those things he wants you to do so that you do them. So that is just uh, about Odige. He's a very calm coach. You don't see him talking. He's, he's always in the hiding and all that. Yes, 11 of the best players I have ever played with. Okay, let's say Dudu Mayana, Peter Rufai. Yes, he, he's the goalkeeper of uh, my team for a very long time. And uh, he has a kind of an encouraging words why you are, you know, defending for him. If an attacker is, is coming, you can hear him say, behind you. Ah, my man, I know you will not allow him. You know, it encourages. And then you want to put everything to make sure that guy does not go. We have at the right uh, uh, side, Issa Shufulue. He's late now. He's a very good player, camp player. You know, he encourages. You know, sometimes when we are not, he brings one down and all that. I, I you know I play from the left full back. We have uh, Sunday Boigbe, who plays at the centre too, a colleague. You know, we so understand ourselves. There are balls I want to go, he will say, he's in control. And when he says that, I, I leave. He takes up uh, the ball. So that's, we have late Keshi too, who was either in the defence or at the midfield there. You know, he has that uh, pedigree of controlling the uh, the team, you know, and all that. We have uh, uh, Ademola Adeshino, who plays uh, at the Mifi too. He's another good uh, uh, good player. And we have this little Paraji, who came in. In short, uh, may he so rest in perfect peace. That is a great player Nigeria have lost. Because at the time, to break into the national team when you come in that time was very, very difficult. But when he came in, 
he puts everything even before the match we, the first match he played at Enu, Enugu World Cup qualifier it was in myself and Ebogbo said no this guy this guy has to be in and he did his best and after match he doesn't wait for match bonuses he takes off immediately and comes uh, I come back when he does not wait for all those things. You know, Sam Sissiasia too was another good player who plays from the wing. We have Tarila Okorowanta from the right. <laughs> those stubborn, but <laughs> when he, he wants to play, he will give you, give you his uh, best. Those are the ones I can remember. Now. Okay, my difficult uh, players I uh, played uh, with is uh, Roger Miller from Cameroon because if you watch the match we had with them uh, in Morok 88, he was just everywhere. And uh, there was a time I wanted to really go hard on him, but the way he blocked me, when I saw it, Keshi noticed it at that time, but I said, okay, no problem. But I gave him my own too. He was just down there. He couldn't. Uh, it was a player who really uh, gave us. Uh, a third time and they are goalkeeper too though Henry Henry scored a beautiful goal that I suppose if you have uh, this every arrow today it would have showed Henry also goal was a, a great a, a, a goal and Umbo who plays from the left fullback too was another good uh, a player you are listening to a Legbete TV radio